and welcome to the complete guide to using your Android Lollipop Nexus 6. Today it's user profiles, tips and tricks. To view profile information you can swipe down from the lock screen and the image in the top right of the settings area is your current profile. If you have unlocked your screen you can swipe down with two fingers to display the same profile. Simply tap on it to show all your current profiles and settings. To instantly switch profile tap on a user and the handset will automatically switch to that user. If you have security set up on that user, it will automatically lock the device again. If you want to change the user profile picture, then bring up the profile screen and press on more settings. Then for the current user only, you can press on the image to either change the profile picture or change the name. You can choose edit and crop a picture from the gallery, but I won't be held responsible for the sort of picture you end up using. To create a new user, simply bring up the user profile screen and then press on the add button to create a new user within seconds. This user will not see data and apps from other users, although they can update apps if they end up downloading the same ones as other users on the handset. Also bear in mind that when you create a new user, you will have to go through the same setup of an account like you did when you first bought the handset. When a new user is set up, they don't automatically have access to make phone calls or send SMS messages. The owner or administrator of a device is the only profile that can do this. So, as the main user, go to more settings and you will see cogs next to each user that you can press on and then toggle the options that allow the particular user to use telephonic services. If you want the ability to add users from the lock screen when you have security enabled on your handset, go to more settings and then press the three dots in the top right hand corner of the screen. There will be an option here marked add users when device is locked. If you check that, when the device is next locked and you bring up the profile screen, you can now add new user profiles. If you want to add a temporary user to the device, the best way forward is to create a guest user. This will start a fresh profile that's not connected to any of your Google accounts so they can't access your data or applications. It bypasses the regular setup screen so it's a quick way for someone to browse the internet, watch YouTube or take some pictures. You can easily switch back and forth between profiles and every time you return to the guest account it will ask you if you want to start a new session or continue with the previous one. When you are logged in as a guest, you can remove a guest user at any time. If you go to more settings from the user profile screen, you can add a new user but not have to immediately set them up by pressing on the not now option. To delete a user, you must use the device owner user profile, press on the cog and then select the delete user option. If you want to completely restrict a user to just one application on the handset, then go to settings and scroll down to security before selecting the screen pinning option. Toggle this on as well as the lock device when unpinning option. Now go to the application you want to lock and then press the overview button in the bottom right hand corner of the device. This will bring up a recent list of applications and you want to scroll this list up a little bit to reveal a green pin. This is the pinning tool and when you press on that it will return to the application and you will be locked into it. The back and home buttons will no longer work as a means to quit the application and the only way to get out of it is to long press on the overview button again and this will of course lock the device. This might be useful when you want to let a child only play on one game or watch videos on YouTube. Thank you for watching this Video Gadgets Journal video today. My name is Rob and each of my videos is designed to inform, intrigue and entertain to connect you with your technology. Today I've been connecting you with the Nexus 6. If you want to follow more of my journal on the device then click over here. If you want some useful hints and tips on the Nexus 6 click over here. And if you want more information about the channel in general, then click on me. Thank you very much and I'll see you again soon.